We're stacking and balancing bits of trash and treasure in this dexterific episode of Little Big Thumbs. Welcome to Little Big Thumbs, a channel all about finding great games for little players and big players. And today, we're posing the question, have you ever wanted to own your own boat and use it to go hunting for treasure on remote islands? Well, your chance is finally here, courtesy of Flotsam Float from Haba. This game is designed by Günther Burkhardt and features artwork from Stephanie Böhm. It plays two to five players in about 20 minutes and is recommended for ages six and up. Now let's go put our oars in the water and find out what this game is all about. The scene of Flotsam Float is made up of six cardboard islands, which will be arranged in something of a circle of five island pedestals, with the six placed right in the middle. Our rickety raft will be placed on top of one of those outer islands. Each island will be surrounded by four beach cards, each of which is hiding a number of valuable shells. I say valuable because whoever has collected the most shells by the end of the game will be crowned the winner. The beach cards will each host one piece of chunky wooden flotsam, set Tilda the Turtle off to the side along with the stack of bonus cards. And with that, we are all set up to play the game. Each turn of Flotsam Float involves two steps. First, we select one piece of flotsam from the island where our raft is stationed and stack it somewhere on that raft. If no pieces have fallen off the floaty vessel, then we can flip over the card that the flotsam was just taken from, which reveals both how many shells the card is worth as well as the raft's next destination. We'll then need to pick up the raft and move it to the indicated island, hopefully without any pieces toppling off. If you successfully deliver the raft with all flotsam intact, you get to keep the island card for points. And if the piece of placed flotsam is sitting taller than every other piece on the raft, you will also earn a bonus card, so long as there are at least three pieces of flotsam on the raft. If, during either the stacking phase or the balancing portion of the turn, any bits of flotsam fall from the raft, those bits will leave the game and be given to Tilda the Turtle. Once all but one island is void of cards, the game ends, and we'll count up our shells to see who did the best job of floating the flotsam to become the winner of the game. Now we play a lot of dexterity games, to the point that we've got an entire video series devoted to that genre of gaming. And I've gotta say, that Flotsam Float might very well be my favorite dexterity game of 2022. The act of both stacking a piece of wood and then actually picking up and moving that stack is a double dose of delightfulness that keeps everyone glued to the action on the table at all times. Players have to decide whether they're willing to make a slightly more precarious stack in order to win themselves a bonus card or whether they just want to play it safe and hopefully secure one solid island card for their score pile. It often results in these super intense moments when someone creates a stack that can't possibly be moved and then big cheers from everyone when the impossible becomes reality. When I first played this game, I was certain it was going to be more difficult for younger players. But it only took my kids a couple of turns to lock into the premise of the game, putting us all on relatively equal footing in a relatively short amount of time. My younger daughter sometimes gets a little too excited when it's not her turn bringing an unwanted natural disaster when she inevitably kicks the table or slams her hands down to cheer someone else on on their turn. Despite those moments of turbulence, Flotsam Float is a game that is tremendous fun for kids and offers some really interesting decisions for adults. And for that reason, we are pleased to announce that this game has won the Golden Thumb. If you've been following Little Big Thumbs in recent months, you'll know that when a game wins the Golden Thumb, we like to put a copy of that game into the hands of one lucky member of the Little Big Thumbs viewing family. So if you'd like to enter our Golden Thumb giveaway for Flotsam Float, make sure you're subscribed to Little Big Thumbs here on YouTube and you'll leave a comment on this video mentioning the coolest bit of treasure that you found either on a beach or anywhere on your travels. Since we are tackling the purchase and shipment of this prize ourselves, entries are going to be limited to those located here in Canada and the United States. Our apologies to those watching elsewhere in the world, and we'll try our best for future Golden Thumb giveaways to be available in other regions. But for those eligible, make sure you're subscribed and leave a treasure-filled comment on this video for your chance to win. 
And that just about does it for this dexterific episode of Little Big Thumbs. Thank you to Haba for sharing a review copy of Flotsam Float with us, and thank you to all of you for watching all the way to the end of this video. And until next time, whether you've got little players or big players, make sure that you're playing games that make your thumbs go way up. Bye for now. Thank you.